this is the DeWalt DC410 18 volt cutoff tool. I've heard quite a lot of mixed reports about these, so I thought I'd uh, just give it a quick test and see how good it is. I'm not expecting it to be as good as a mains powered angle grinder, but at least we can give it a, a quick test and see if it will get you out of a spot of trouble. Uh, it comes with a, a side handle which is multi position, you can put it there, there, or there. It's also got a spindle lock which is handy for when you're changing the blade. If you press that button in there it actually locks the blade so when you get your spigot spanner on there you can actually take the blade off very easily. And then if you look in there we've got a lever which means that you can change the position of the guide and then you can lock it in position. It's also got a trigger lock there to lock the trigger in the off position so that you can't accidentally squeeze it. And I'm guess guessing that's for when you change the disc. But in all honesty, you're better off just removing the battery rather than locking it. It's a lot safer if you just remove the battery and then there's absolutely no chance at all of the machine starting. So I'm not expecting it to be as good as a mains powered machine but I'm just going to test it on a few pieces of metal and see if it will actually get you out of trouble and whenever you use a machine like this you should always wear a pair of safety glasses or goggles preferably uh, a face visor and a pair of industrial gloves so what I'm going to try and do is cut through this bolt using the cordless angle grinder to give us the best possible chance I'm using the thinnest disc that I can get which is a 1mm thick metal slitting disc and also a 2 amp hour lithium ion DeWalt battery so I've got my gloves on, I've got my safety glasses on and I'm now going to put my safety visor on and then we'll just see if we can cut this bolt And as you can see, it did cut through that bolt quite easily. So I'll just keep going now and see how many cuts I can do on here before the actual battery runs completely flat. So I've managed to cut six pieces off that bolt so that's the equivalent of cutting six M16 bolts in half. So now I'm going to try cutting this piece of steel which is about 30 millimeters by 10 millimeters, and we'll just cut a few pieces off this until the battery goes flat.
and there we go the battery's just died completely so really that, that's not bad if you needed to take that somewhere where there was no power and you needed it to get you out of a, a sticky situation it, it is pretty good it did manage to cut through six M16 bolts and also take a complete slice off there and it's almost completely gone through there as well it's not far off going straight through that in fact it'll probably just tap off that last little bit now because it's just held on by that small piece of metal there 